what's going on? My name is Jeff Carpenter with Ready Light Media. Today on Buff Basics, we're going to talk about neutral density filters and how you can use them to get around high speed sync. Simply put, a neutral density or ND filter is just like sunglasses for your camera. There are a few different types of ND filters you can have, but I prefer to use a variable ND filter because it allows me to change the amount of light that gets cut without completely changing out my filter. You may have heard about ND filters being used in landscape photography to have slow shutter speeds and create motion blur. However, another way you can use an ND filter is shooting with flash and a wide open aperture without going over your camera's sync speed. In order to demonstrate this, we brought the flash outside to shoot some portraits, but to stay within the camera's sync speed, my aperture value was really high. For this shoot, I wanted a really shallow depth of field, so I was shooting at f1.4. Unfortunately, with my aperture that wide open, and I'm still staying within my camera's sync speed, my image was overexposed. In order to decrease the overall exposure without increasing my shutter speed or my aperture, I had to cut some light, and that's where the ND filter came in. By adding an ND filter to my lens, I was able to cut the overall exposure of my image while keeping my shutter speed and aperture setting the same. This, however, slightly underexposed my subject, so that's where I brought my flash back in and set the exposure for that to get the shot I wanted. The amount of light that you cut out is completely up to you. I, however, like to underexpose my background just a little bit. That way, when I add the flash back in, my subject really pops. I hope you found this video helpful and if you want to see any more videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to see any of my personal work be sure to follow me on Instagram at ReadyLightMedia. Have a great day.